by far the largest exodus of civilians leaving Escuta that, that we've seen so far, perhaps as many as 20,000 by some uh, estimates. And up until this point, they've normally fled inwards to the urban centers in, in eastern Ghouta rather than crossing government lines into government controlled areas. Uh, we know on this occasion the government had set up a, a corridor uh, a, a, along which it said civilians would be able to flee. Now, in fairness, they had done similar, uh, set up similar sort of exit routes in other areas as well. Uh, but up until this point, it seems people were either unable or unwilling to take those routes. Of course, the government and the opposition exchanging uh, uh, um, reasons as to why that was. The, the government saying that it's because uh, the, the opposition is essentially holding people hostage, and, and the opposition saying it's because uh, those civilians were worried about government reprisals should they cross uh, government lines. And what could be different this time around is certainly is that uh, some of the fighters in Humaria, the place that these civilians have been fleeing from have told Reuters that they were in active communication with government soldiers over the course of the last few days to try and arrange uh, this uh, uh, evacuation. So that might have made a, a difference. Uh, but at any rate, there was heavy fighting over the uh, overnight as, as the opposition launched uh, uh, a counteroffensive. And so at this point, that's brought to an end uh, the, the, uh, the evacuations or, or, or the civilians leaving Hamaria that we were seeing uh, yesterday.